Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called PHP Variables. In this lecture, we're going to be covering the absolute basics of a PHP variable, what types of variables there are, and what they are meant for. If you'd like to follow along using the course files that you downloaded just a couple lectures ago, you can go ahead and open your Code Dynamic Websites folder. And we are currently in O2 variables. If you were to open index.php in your code editor, you would just see a bunch of code and HTML. But if you go to your browser and you navigate to localhost port 8888, then click on O2 variables, you'll be taken to the web page that this lecture is based on. There it is. Think of a variable as a bucket, literally a bucket. That bucket can hold stuff in it, like food or dirt. In PHP, variables are buckets. But instead of holding food or dirt, it can hold information like numbers, text, images, or logic. All you need to know at this point is that variables are buckets that store information for later use. We'll get to how we actually use the variables in an upcoming lecture. The basic syntax of a variable is a dollar sign directly followed by a variable name using text with no spaces then an equal sign, followed by the contents of the variable, ending with a semicolon. There are four basic variable types, and each type of variable, or bucket, is meant to hold specific information. The first is called Boolean. A Boolean variable specifies a value of true or false, and looks like this. So in this variable, you can store a simple true or false. So that's all you need to know about a Boolean variable right now. The second is called an integer. An integer variable is any whole number, like 1 or 2940. The third type of variable is a floating point, and it's usually a fractional number with a decimal, like 104 decimal 87, or 1.5. And the last is a string. A string is a simple text that must be enclosed within double quotations or single quotations. So you could store something like the word Subaru or drum set. And that's it for this lecture. Just the four basic variable types in PHP. I wanna make sure to keep each lecture in small bite-sized chunks so it's easier to digest each new bit of information. So in the next lecture, we're gonna be diving a little bit further into PHP variables. If you're using this web page in your course files, then you could just scroll to the bottom and hit next lecture. Or alternatively, you could just navigate to localhost port 8888 and click on 03 more variables. So I'll see you in the next lecture.